Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll show you building a yard office from scratch using basic materials and a simple design much like this one. So let's get started. So I decided to build the yard office um, mainly because it's a simple project to get started back on but also to work out where the spacing for the track would go for the layout. For the moment I'm just going to give myself a quick drawing to give me an idea of the, the size and the, the detail on it. So it's a very simple construction and the chimney will go at the far end and it only has one door and window um, with the this facing out towards the, the layout and and then I'll put some rough dimensions in. The length of it is going to be 46 millimeters and the width of it will be 32 millimeters and the height of it is going to be 30 millimeters. Now in real scale this is around about 11 foot 11 and a half feet. The width is around about eight foot and the height of it is around about seven and a half foot. Then the outside is going to be finished in a planking or siding, I'm not quite sure. And then the and then the roof is going to be individually made tiling, slate tiling which probably wouldn't be prototypical as it probably would have either been a tile roof or it probably would have more likely have been a tin roof so but that gives the idea of what I'm actually going to be building so I have the basic measurements now and I know roughly where things are going to go the chimney would have probably been in set into the the building but I'm going to keep it on the the outside just to make life easier in the construction of it um, but I do plan to make a, a couple of these buildings to try out different techniques which will come up in uh, later videos but for the moment that's that's the basic plan that I'm going to be using. Next up is the, the card that I'm going to be using and basically this is bog standard cardboard that I picked up from just packaging of oat cakes and whatever. So using the dimensions from the plan that I've just drawn I need to know whether the cardboard actually is wide enough because I'm pretty sure it's going to be lengthwise long enough and I need to know that the height is going to be at least 32 millimeters. Of course I use the one ruler that's got mainly inches on and we can see that that's around about 75 millimeters wide so that's easily wide enough for this particular thing. So we've got the plan, we've got the card, now we just need to start making first thing to do is to split up the card so we can use the clean side for marking out on because we're going to use the straightest edges for taking the marking lines from but for our purposes this should be perfectly okay I don't want the ends I might use that for possibly the tiles on the roof So it's quite simple, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to I'm going to tidy up the edge on this um, and I'm going to use the lines on the cutting mat to try and get myself a, a good straight line. Again I know this isn't exactly right, this isn't precision kind of model making but for the moment it's good enough for me and we'll see at the end the result as to whether it's been good enough or not. Okay, and now we're going to mark out the, the rest of the dimensions from it. Now we'll just move this out of the way first. We don't need this moment. We look at that and make sure that we've got the dimensions right. Yep, that's okay. Basically we have our first piece which we can cut out. 
So I tend to cut the vertical lines first. I can get it as square as possible. None of this has to be exactly right. And I'm sure there's people out there who think that this is uh, bodging of the highest order. slight nick there. However, all of this is going to be covered by, uh, by wooden planking. So we've got a first part, we've got the front facing wall with the window and the doorway. So now we're going to cut the back So going back to the drawing, we now know that we've got a seven and a half foot high wall, but we also want to know the pitch of the roof. Without getting into too many technicalities of roof pitches and snow loads and rain loads, etc., I'm going to say that this, this measurement from this line to here is going to be four foot. That adds on another 12 millimeters to the height of the center of the end walls. Right, so we have the two walls have the back and the front. Oops. <laughs> anyway, get the idea. Okay. tend to do cuts that are not so heavy in pressure um, and more of them just to make sure that I'm not warping the line, particularly on this very very thin card. Now we find out whether that's the correct size and I can see that it's around about a millimetre off but I'm not too too fussed about that because what I'll do is I will obviously have the ridge caps for the tiles anyway, which will cover a hole. That side's okay. I must have cut it about a millimetre too short on the far side. Anyway, that's good. So the next step is to put it all together. And if I was to, to build it um, as one piece, I would have ended up with this which I would have then scored down the the different places where the the bends in the card would be needed and then just fold it round and I think that would probably be kind of an easier way to do it if one had the the card to do it and in this case I probably would do but, but it's kind of harder to mark out that way um, we haven't talked about using technology in printers and stuff, mainly because I just wanted to do one um, from scratch that pretty much anybody could do. But in this case, a lot of the inconsistencies can be masked out with various techniques of coverings. So for the final part of the video, we're going to glue the building together. I could just glue the four walls together. As the card is very thin I'm going to add some bracing in to keep the, the walls somewhat straighter and in order to do that I'm going to cut it out of the existing card that I've got left over from the from the ends of the boxes
Okay, so we have our first wall glued up, wall to the side, and now we're going to glue the other side onto the back. And then we've got the front wall where we're going to struggle on this side with the, the door frame because obviously we haven't got a, a huge amount of space with that so we're really going to rely on the the strength of the glue down the edge of the wall mainly because of the thinness of the, this card it's it's kind of warping it all over the place so once I get the this wall glued down and uh, it should keep it in position so this just takes a bead and then we can also add the roof to give us an idea So that's the basic carcass and nothing exciting to write home about but once we've added all the detail it will look hopefully somewhat different and more like a yard office and this is the first step in showing you that you can build something from nothing and with a bit of imagination you can make pretty much anything you like. So in the next video I'll be showing you adding detail to the basic carcass, the window, the door and the chimney detail. I'll also be adding the siding and painting the model as well. Do this. Click and watch this video on screen now because this will show you more car buildings for the layout and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.